Hi, my students, whatever you are still with me, Eddie Vlog channel. On this occasion, we would like to give you speech video. This speech video was taken when we were still facing COVID-19 pandemic. The topic of the speech is about social media is more harm than good for teenagers. Speech is delivered by my students. Her name is Citra Atika Mutiara from 10 Med Sign 2 of Semanpulis Provinsi Riau. To know what is social media and what is the dangers of social media for teenagers, let's watch the following video. Let me introduce myself. My name is Citra Atika Mutiara from 10 MS2. Let me read my speech under the title, Social Media is More Harm Than Good for Teenagers. Ladies and gentlemen, now most of us use social media for finding and communicating with our friends or many else. But do you know social media is more harm than good for teenagers? Okay, in era now, most of people use social media every day, everywhere, and every time. Best on research 2015. Most of totally who used social media are teenagers, that's 13 until 17 years old. Because not only for communicating with the friend, social media also can be a space where we form and build relationships form identities, express ourselves, and learning many things about the world around us. But remember, social media is also technology like others' technology. Of course, it has the negative impact for us also. What, is the, what else teenagers? And do you know the facts? If social media is more harm than good for teenagers. As you know, Teenager is a very important phase for their emotional and psychosocial development. So let me tell you some negative impact of social media for proof my argument that social media is more harm than good for teenagers. First, in with if we use social media, we can feel anxiety. Most of the teens under pressure for right, pause, and do anything perfect and best. Not little teens got negative comment of their self in social media if they don't perfect and best. So they must do perfect uh, and best for not get head comment. These things can them can make them to experience anxiety and restlessness and that's very very harm for their mental healthiness. The second is lack of sleep. Based on research, social media use can evict evic teens sleep patterns. Teenagers have the urge to wake up in the middle night to find what their friend post or chatting until middle night. This behavior makes teens sleep deprived and can ultimately evict mood swings. Moreover, teenagers have emotions that are still unstable. Also, there are other health problems that will lurk such as depression and obesity. The third is cyberbullying. Almost teenagers ever become victims of cyberbullying. Bullier usually use technology such as social media to harass, insult, and other negative things to victim. Cyberbullying tend to experience depression, anxiety, and even have suicidal thoughts. 
As you know, it's very very hard also for their mental healthiness. For minus communication. Guys, although social media is a place for interact with other people, but of course, it feels different for communicating directly. Unfortunately, teenagers are so busy looking their phones all the time. All as a result, they forget that there is a social life in their around them. A set of cell phones. This makes them able to interact on social media. But lack communication with other people in real life. In fact, it is not uncommon for teenagers to be distant from pe the people around them such as family and friend and finally it will damage their relationship so with for from my fourth argument it can prove my speech that social media is more harm than good for teenagers maybe that's all from me thank you for your attention wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh